Hey guys, this is the big day I've been waiting for. Talked in some of the other videos about the TIG machine. I finally got everything all hooked up on it. I got the gas back here. We'll go over some of that in a minute here. I'm going to go over settings and the material that I'm going to weld. And I have never even turned this machine on, so I'm bringing you guys along for this. I've never TIG welded in my life. So I wanted to be live when I did this. Hopefully it turns out I'm going to start out by doing a bead on plate here. And as long as the machine turns on and I'm uh, able to do that, then I'm going to go ahead and try to do a butt weld with uh, some filler, filler rod. So uh, let me show you guys uh, my, the settings and my setup and then I'll go over the the material really quick here and then I'll I'll turn you off for a second while I get my gear on and then we'll try to do this together here so okay so what I got here now is uh, the foot pedal which everybody talked about slipping I put on a little bit of uh, some rubber back uh, carpeting so I'm going to try it with the foot forward on the pedal like that. Some guys say the heel. I'm going to try that. Um, I got this. Uh, let's go to the machine first here. Oh, and I have not even turned the gas or anything on. So I think we're going to do that. And uh, But I need power to the machine. So we'll go over to the settings first real quick here. Um, this is just, uh, I have no idea just from what I've seen. So what I'm going to start out here with is I'm going to set the machine, the main amps, to about 100 amps right here. And uh, the starting amps about 50, and the ending amps is about 50 as well. And down here I've got the post flow at about 7 seconds. That'll be the gas running over the, the weld to, so I can keep it from contaminating everything. So... Uh, I just did a uh, dry run on some stuff here and I didn't like the way the torch was tugging on me so I got this little little hoop here so it takes a little bit of the pressure off this and I got the long the long extension on the back so I got the full piece of tungsten in there it's a 332nd with a number six cup and there again I'm just uh, doing this I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Down here, got some eighth inch mild steel. I got the TIG, TIG finger here. I'm just going to uh, just slide, get this in a comfortable position, and just going to slide across the TIG finger in case it gets uh, warm there. So hopefully that'll work. So I'm going to turn you guys off for a second here. And I'm going to actually turn the machine on, and as soon as I get the gas uh, set right, I'm going to get the flow to about 15 per uh, CFMs. And once I get that all set up, then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys. Uh, CFH, I've got it set right now. When I depress the pedal here, I get about 15 and that's where I'm gonna go for on the CHF. Uh, here's all my rods here. I've actually got a piece of for stainless out already. Uh, coming around here to the machine, I've got it set at 101 and there's my main set there. I'm gonna start out at 50 right there on the start amps and then end up at about 50 on the end amps and there again I my post flow is just about uh, it's actually about four seconds I think I'm gonna bump that up to about five seconds there I have it on the uh, 2t so that will be instant on or off with the pedal and of course uh, got the TIG setting there on DC and then I got all my hookups there 
So I'm going to get the gear on here and I'll turn you guys back on and then we'll try a pass here. Okay guys, here we go. Okay guys, here we're just going to do a bead on plate here to start with. Not too bad. Let's try one more of those. A little bit of shielding gas. Yeah, that, that looks pretty darn good. Yeah, not bad at all. I think we're going to keep with that same uh, kind of a thick metal here. Maybe I'll turn it up just to 105. See what we got there. And we're going to try a little, little shot of the filler rod in there. Try to create a little puddle here first. Does that ever get warm? You know what? I'm pretty darn happy with that. Got a little bit of, bring you guys up here a little closer here. See? Got a little bit of Looks like what they were talking about, contamination, like right about in there, but overall, you know, for the first time around, pretty good. And then this bead on here, it's pretty good, really. Move out of focus there. There we go. Okay, anyways, thanks guys. Appreciate you watching. Did that at about 106 there. Alright, thanks for watching. Hey guys. Been playing around a little bit since I last had you on here. And uh, hope you can see that. Not too bad, really, for my first go around here. I, I I did this one actually first. I was real happy with it. Then I think I got on the pedal a little too much there, and blew through. But good penetration overall. Got the welds through there. Uh, I've got a little bit thicker, thicker stuff here. Put a little tax on the ends there.
just going to throw this down on there and I was going to do a little fill try to fill that butt weld with a little thicker here see how we go so I'm going to get this set up here and bring you guys along for this one and this is a little thicker material here I've got a little filler rod right here I'll do a quick one here and then we'll, we'll watch this to see how it turns out Getting a little puddle started here. Little dab. Oh, got the tungsten in there a little bit. Trying to get a little bit of a Oh, I got a little set and a little hot. I think I can get it off on it here and let it cool. All right. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. This, uh, this darn TIG welding is, oh, man, I cannot believe how much fun it is. I just got started. Been doing this just for about 15 or 20 minutes now. I'm going to pick this up. It's a little warm right now, so I'm going to show you guys that. And then we'll call that good, and I'll post that, and you guys can take a look. So you were there. You were there for it all, and I'll tell you what, I'm pretty darn, pretty darn happy with that. It's going to be, I can see it's going to be a real learning curve, but it's already super, super fun. So thank you guys for joining in, and I'll see you later. I'm going to do a few more projects.